within the area of teaching the nuts and bolts of writing we have another key area which is teaching punctuation punctuation is of course one of the important skills to develop and remember that poorly written texts can create negative impression whether they are emails whether they are letters or whether they are postcards whatever like we write we need to follow the conventions of punctuation so uh, the question is how we can teach punctuation in the classroom there are no hard and fast rules of teaching punctuation but there are certain activities um which we can bring in in the classroom which we can incorporate and then develop right um what i would like to emphasize is that we as second language teachers need to teach need to make the students aware of the significance of punctuation and we should show them a good passage containing the norms or conventions of punctuation and bad passage and the impression that the bad passage can create upon the readers or leave for the readers and especially it's it's uh, uh, i uh, being a teacher i also observe that some of the students like tend to overlook the use of apostrophe or proper full stop or commas even in emails remember even uh, you know using such emails whether for business purposes or whether for personal purposes or formal purposes should contain the proper use of punctuation so correct use of punctuation should be made part of teaching from the very beginning to the middle and through the higher secondary and intermediate so it's it's some of the important areas which actually most of our students struggle and especially because of the inf influence of social media uh especially whatsapp or facebook or messaging uh, uh students tend to develop some bad habits so we need to show them passages which contain uh, uh which can which are of good example right so uh we need to make sure that our students know the right symbols for example where to use the brackets and where not to use we can show them the passages containing the proper use of brackets capital letter colon comma full stop hyphen inverted commas question mark exclamation mark and apostrophe so these are some of the conventions which we can uh teach our students and one of the ways is to expose them to reading to extensive reading to reading formal um uh, formal writing actually so there are various activities which we can uh bring in at elementary level um so students can be asked to read a collection of words and identify which ones are written with capital letters and why so it's important to ask them the why question as well and they can be asked to punctuate a smaller text or or uh, we can give them the text which is not punctuated they can be asked to punctuate it properly and we can also show them the passage as i said before how the punctuation is used and why so again um i remember batstone's hypothesis of noticing which you may have um studied elsewhere in some of the other courses that noticing is important and co making students consciously notice some of the features some of the nuts and bolts some of the mechanics of writing is important and we can combine different procedures activities and strategies in the classroom and other important way of developing spelling is to uh, give them assign them tasks uh, which they can carry out at their homes 
So it depends what level you are teaching, what kind of students you have, and what interest to your students. And remember, each student has different needs. So one of the ways is just to develop collaborative writing exercises in the classroom, pairing um, high proficient students with low proficient students and much motivated students with less motivated students. So this is how you can make different strategies uh, and incorporate those strategies into your teaching and develop punctuation.